January 1, 2023. Happy New Year, everybody. Hopefully everybody's doing good today and feeling good after New Year's Eve and didn't party too hard. Today, we are at Lake Billy Chinook here in beautiful Central Oregon. You can see it behind me here, the mountains in the background off to the west there. And we're gonna be doing a cleanup dive today. It's a good way to bring in the new year. Right now we're standing up on the cliff edge here, the canyon rim of the Crooked River Arm. Lake Billy Chinook consists of three different rivers here in Central Oregon that flow into this reservoir. And the dam is down that way to the north. We're gonna be focusing on the boat ramp right here at the bottom of the hill on the Crooked River Arm. We're doing this for Project Aware Dive Against Debris. For those of you who don't know, Project Aware is an organization that tracks the amount of trash and garbage that comes out of waterways from scuba divers like you and me all across the world. It's a great organization. If you haven't joined, please help us be a part of this great organization to help clean up the environment and the underwater world all across the planet. Now, before we get into the water and start doing our cleanup today, uh, I'm gonna take care of something that I've been sitting on for a few weeks and I normally wouldn't share something like this, but I wanted to use this as an educational moment with my platform that I have, which is very small by the way, but you know, no matter how small you are, you can always do big things in the world. So I'm trying to help out as much as I can. A few weeks ago, a few of us were diving down here and we discovered underwater what appears to be um, a person's ashes in a, a plastic urn and a plastic bag that I think somebody dropped accidentally off the dock trying to get into the boat down at the boat ramp over here. So after talking to some people and kind of trying to figure out what I should do with this, I've decided that the best thing to do is I'm actually going to open it up and cut open the bag and I'm gonna spread the ashes, which I think is the intention of the people who accidentally dropped it there. I'm gonna spread the ashes on the lake here and then I'm gonna dispose of the plastic and the plastic bag um, properly so it's not in our waterways. And the reason I'm sharing this with you is to let you know that if this actually happens to you, please reach out to your local dive shop and there's always divers around the world looking for an excuse to go diving. If somebody were to just say, hey, I accidentally dropped this in the water, can you please help me go get this up so I can do what I wanna do with it, spread the ashes and then dispose of the plastic properly. That's what needs to be done here. And so I'm just saying, if this ever happens to you, please look, look towards those dive shops, local divers in your area. They're always willing to help. And that's what we're gonna do right now before we get involved with the cleanup dive. down here at the boat ramp. It's about 35 degrees, so it's a little chilly, but the good news is that means that the water temperature more than likely is warmer than the outside temperature. So it'll feel nice and toasty when we're getting in the water. So we're gonna go down here and see what the other divers are planning on doing and see what time they're planning on going in. We'll go from there. So as well as a cleanup dive, this is also a good training opportunity. We've got a small group of DMCs, dive master candidates, that are checking some stuff off their list today. For example, a couple of the things you have to do during uh, dive master training is you have to lead a group of certified divers. You have to give a dive briefing at a dive site. Um, they might be doing a couple other things. Those are just two that I know of. So you might see some people doing some training activities in the background, but wow, what a great day. Look at this, sunny weather, calm water. What a great New Year's. Up against this, maybe. <sighs> Thing about scuba diving, the worst part about it, putting on and off your gear. Everything else is awesome. <laughs> this is the hardest part. For you guys don't know this is Lake Billy Chinook, we're on the Crooked River Arm. There's a couple other lakes or rivers I've run into. You got the 
the shoots and Metolius. Metolius are the other ones. Standard buddy procedures, if you do lose your buddy, search for you can search for one minute and then come up to the surface. For the dive, we kind of have the lake in front of us, but the primary side, I would say we want to be over here to the left of the dock. This whole site will range from two inches down to 100 feet. Okay, now he's set up my... I'm Bill. Nick. Nick, nice to meet you, nice sir. Nice to meet you. Um, I still got to set up my kit, and then, uh, yeah, whenever. I'm going to be taking a camera, so I'm going to be getting some shots of maybe you picking up trash and okay. stuff like that. So I have, a, I have a little quick shoot. So. Oh, cool. All right. Picture of you taking yeah. pictures. Cool. Sounds good. <laughs> I'm ready. Get it, guy. <laughs> Going the wrong way. He's coming after me because I kicked him. <laughs> Third bit of garbage. Pair of sunglasses in there somewhere. Yeah. Good times. It's a fun dive. You just grab him on the. Yeah, you just grab him right there. Pick him up right behind the closet again. I dumped my bag out. <laughs> Putting him back into Mother Nature. <laughs> so we just completed dive one. That's all I'm gonna be doing today. I've got some stuff I gotta do back into town, but there's a bunch of people in this group that are still gonna do a second dive. They're gonna go over that way, it looks like, but just on that first dive alone, about 10 divers covered this area that you can see right here beside me. And you'll see here in a minute, the uh, amount of trash that we got there, cans, bottles, swimsuits, lawn chairs, umbrellas, sunglasses, all kinds of plastic, just a lot of garbage. So it's another good reason why we do this at least once a year to try to help the environment clean this up. This is one of our training sites. It's actually a really fun place to dive. And it's nice to occasionally go back there and give something back to the community and the environment and help clean this place up. So with that being said, I feel really good about what we did this morning here on this dive. And I feel really good about what they're planning on doing over there. So let me bring you over here and show you what we found after that first dive. <laughs> You're laughing at that slip. You ready? All right, as you can see right here, lots of cans, lots of bottles. We got a crawdad trap right here. I don't know if you've ever seen this particular style. If I can, yeah, it is kind of stuck together. But I got a clamp for it. This is a perfectly good crawdad trap that uh, looks like it's still in good condition. Oh yeah, look at that. That'll mate together there. Put your fastening device with your rope there, and it's a perfectly good crawdad trap. Good as new, other than it's missing the clip. 
sunglasses, lots of sunglasses. As you can see, tons of them. There's a bunch more over there. Obviously you get the usual cans and bottles, plastic lids. These look like they're from worm containers for fishing. These are, this is for crawdad bait, cat food or tuna fish or something like that. This looks like an old placard from like a boat or something. Child's boot earlier, crawdad climbed out of that. Uh, swimming trunks, hat, tire. There was a couple tires under there. This is an old umbrella right here. What happens with these kinds of things like this and this lawn chair, people set them up out here. They get out of them or they turn their back for two seconds. A gust of wind comes up, poof, into the lake it goes. So that's most of the time how these things end up in the lakes and rivers. But yeah, as you can see, there's a good portion of uh, bottles, cans, and trash right here that I'm glad we got out of the water. And that was only with about eight, maybe 10 divers. So you can imagine how much every single part and just a little section of the lake right here contains garbage. So that happened. <laughs> I know. Please, if you're going to the lakes and the rivers, please help do your part and try to keep this stuff from going into the waters. It's not good for the environment. It's not good for us, especially as divers. When you're diving along and that's what you see, it's a little bit frustrating. So whatever you can do, if you bring it in, pack it out. How hard is that, you know? Let's try to contain this stuff. This type of stuff here, there's no reason for this to end up in the, like that was purposely thrown there. There's no reason for that. So again, this is for um, Project Aware, Dive Against Debris. You can go online, I'll put the link in the description below. You can look all over the world and see how many pounds of rubbish is being pulled out all over the planet and this kind of stuff. We need to get it out of the waters. Just got done diving over at the boat ramp, doing a cleanup dive. What a great way to start the new year. That was a lot of fun. I wanna thank Central Oregon Diving for sponsoring today's event for cleaning up the environment here at Lake Billy Chinook. And I wanna thank all of you for checking out my videos. And thanks to everybody who's already subscribed. If you haven't yet, please do so. Helps me out a lot. And until next time, be safe in the woods and watch out for rattlesnakes. We'll see you on another Oregon expedition. So that happened. Kind of as a scientific experiment to see where the problematic areas are on our plaid net. <clears throat>